afternoon, good evening from wherever you are in the world. My name is Uluwafemi Williams. You are welcome back to the Williams FX. Um, it's been a while. This will be my first video in a while to bring back up on YouTube. And if you have not subscribed yet, I want you to subscribe, hit the notif notification bell, and let's get going. Well, this time it's back and better. So I'll be sharing some tips into how I've been trading in the past year and how it has been different and has more chances of giving you more wins than losses. So in this video today, I'll quickly move into how I took a buy on GU during the week. And then maybe a little insights to what we look, look, look forward to in the coming week. All right, so this is the H4 time frame. I don't want to waste time. This is the H4 time frame, and obviously you can see the market is pulling upwards right here, right? And it's giving us that higher highs, higher low, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, and then it gave us a double top here, and then it gave us a low, and then broke above the double top right here. So the market is obviously in an uptrend okay the market is obviously in an uptrend and at this point you should be looking for buys and when you're looking for sales you should be looking for sales that will be retracements not full-time sales all right sales that will be retracements so if you are going to be selling this market you should be selling it um as a retracement you can use your fibonacci like this if you have your fibonacci Okay, if you have your market giving you that upward movement, hold on. If you have the market giving you the upward movement like this, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. And then you want to catch the next lows. Okay, you want to catch the next lows. You can Fibonacci it out like this. You can Fibonacci it out like that for Fib. And then catch your lows from that top there. And then your stop loss will be above the 27%, just right there. From here, that's if it has started the retracement, so you can catch a sell stop. Or if you have your good entry, you can catch that to 78.6 FIB level, but this is not a good trade to me. So yeah, so you shouldn't be looking for sales at this point. Majorly, you should be looking for more buys, except you know how to run your entries. So let's get right into it quickly. So this is a four hour time frame, giving us that upward trend movement, right? And um, this very line right here is showing um, level of strength. And that's why we had that rejection there. Okay, that is the imbalance level of this middle here, yeah. the imbalance level of this middle, 50% imbalance level. Okay, so I think it's showing a level of strength on my seeing sales, but till then, we really don't have any sales to take until we see clear signs of sales. For now, let us have a look at the buy that I took during the week. So on that, um, let's go to the one hour time frame now. I'm just going to Take this off the charts. Take this off the charts so no one gets confused. So no one gets confused. Okay. This arrow needs to go as well. Okay. So when we are in a buy, there were other entries around these places over the past uh, week, in the past days. But I want to look at, I want to explain this very buy right here. This very buy right here. Now, naturally, I would use very small lot sizes and very big, uh, very small stop losses, rather very small stop losses. But on this trade, I used the bigger stop loss because it was um, Friday and I didn't want to take chances. Okay. So let us have a look at this. So we had, uh, we had a push to the upside, just like this, push to the upside, a little retracement, a push, retracement, a push, a retracement, and then a push right here and then a push to this point and then we had a retracement so i'm getting out of this before coming back to this retracement 
that is when I realized that we might be seeing more buys in the market, all right? So at that point, I was looking for, I found my break of structure here. I found my break of structure to the top here and I labeled it POS, right? Found my break of structure. So I knew, yeah, we still needed to see more buys, more buys, either to give us an equal top here or to break above, right? So I marked out uh, the, I went to the 15 minutes time frame to look for um, supply areas, demand areas rather. Yes, I went to look for demand areas. And then I was very keen on this level right here. I was very keen on this level. This is the break of structure. So where was the last down candle before the push, right? This was actually the last down candle before the major push. This is just an accumulation. This was the last down candle. So I marked out that last down candle, the body, just the body of the last down candle, just like that. And then I was building market to come right into it, okay? So I'm just going to mark out this area where the market came right into it, right there. So when the market did come right into it, I went down to the one minute time frame. Now, it could have been easy, which I actually did. I took 13 pips stop loss, somewhere around here. We have 13 pips stop loss. And then my take profit was just right below this accumulation point right here. Just right below this accumulation point right here. That was my take profit, 50 pips, right? So this last down candle before the up move was my confirmation to go in for longs. However, when the market came right into it, I shouldn't have taken the trade. I should have waited. And now I'll explain that part so that a lot of you will not go aggressively into trades, okay? So when the market came right into it, into it right here, I have scaled down to smaller time frames. Let's start from the five minutes time frame to see the reaction of the market in these zones, okay? To see the reaction of the market in these zones. So right here, the market came into it and pushed up and pushed up and refused to break these eyes. That was something that caused uh, a little bit of panic. If you know what I'm saying, it caused a little bit of panic and it failed to break this high because I had entered the trade around here. However, if you had not entered the trade, there is no clear entry around this point. So we scale down to the three minutes time frame right here. So we are at it, scale down to three minutes time frame, and the market gave us a clear um, pattern. Uh, a clear pattern. If you trade patterns, you will know what I mean by a clear pattern. Give us head and shoulders right there, and moved right into it. So if you were on the three minutes time frame. There are chances that you would have entered this trade right off the head and shoulder pattern. I'm looking at something like this. If the market had come and broken these lows, we would have been expecting the market to come and break these highs. It broke these lows, we are ready to break the highs and then come back and move, right? Which the market didn't obviously do. So you would have been taking the trade off this head and shoulders, obviously, as it created the next shoulder, one would have taken the trade off here with a smaller risk on the trade right from here. Hold on. I'm going to take this one out, right? So the market was coming right back into here without any clear indication. One would have taken the trade off the shoulder and moved with a very tight stop loss from the top right here to right below the bottom here, 10 pips, and we have run 50 pips as well to the top, okay? But let's go down to the one minute time frame and see what the one minute time frame actually said about this trade because that is where I actually execute most of my trades. And then we're on the one minute time frame now. Now, this is the story the market wasn't telling. This is the exact story the market wasn't telling. Right here, it created this created a series of highs and lows around here, and then it broke above all that, all those highs and lows. And then the recent um, down candle before the up candle was just here. So I'm gonna take this one out now. So if I was to look at, take this trade from the one minute time frame, this is exactly where I would have taken it from. This last down candle before the up candle. So I would have taken my entry right from the top there, put my stop loss, a little bit below it, around five pips, of course, which will put it at around figure. And then my target would have been right at the top. 
at how many pips? 47 pips, right? And so I would have waited for these confirmations. These confirmations would have been everything. And now preferring to take five pips off this trade as um, stop loss, five pips off stop loss would have made more sense. And I would have cut a risk to reward of nine to five, all right? One to ratio 9.5 rather. Easy peasy because of this confirmation right here. Now, a lot of people must have been manipulated out of the trades here because um, they didn't wait for confirmation. Like I didn't wait at the 15 minutes time frame, but I had to risk a bigger portion of my stop loss for that. Right here, I had to risk a bigger portion of my stop loss for that, about 13 pips, like I said earlier. Yeah, of this um, of this candle right here, of the body of this candle, risk 13 pips and the market gave me 50 pips. However, if you wait for confirmation as it hits your 15 minutes, um, uh, hit your 15 minutes interest area right here. Hit your 15 minutes interest area right here. It's best and advisable to scale down to the one minute, five minutes, three minutes, and one minute time frame to look for more confirmation before you actually take the trade. And if the trade goes without you, that is totally fine. There are more opportunities in the market. I hope you're going to learn from this video. If you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe right now. Like this video, share, drop a comment on what you want me to talk about next in the Forex market, and then hit the notification button because I will be giving the giveaway of my course for free to one subscriber every time I get, I hit a particular mark. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let candlesticks and price action always be the judge. My name is Oluwafemi Williams. Bye.